Street Fighter. This is my review on Street Fighter. I give it a 10 out of 10. John Clan Van Den has never been better in his movies. This this is John Clan Van Den Van Den's best movie since Time Cop, I say. Next to Time Cop. <laughs> And it's so much fun. You know, does it make a whole lot of sense? Uh, no, it doesn't actually. Like, much like Mortal Kombat Annihilation, the first Mortal Kombat movie, it doesn't make sense. But it's a good movie to shut your brain off and just have fun. Like the Ghost Rider movies. The Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider movies. I give those a 10 out of 10 for shutting your brain off because I can't shut my brain off and just enjoy the damn movie. And call it dumb, mindless fun. 10 out of 10. And that's what this movie is. Dumb, mindless fun. Is it faithful to the games? Oh god, no. It's not faithful to the games. It's not even like a sense at all. Other than the title. And M. Bison is being good in this movie. The guy plays M. Bison. Um, uh, it's a really cheesy movie. And like, uh... Top of the line quality cheesy fun. <laughs> and, um... That's personally why I love this movie. Because it's top of the line cheesy fun. Over the top everything is cheesy. It's cheesy in the sense that the every adventures movie is in live action has been. From the first one all the way to the end game. Makes no fucking sense to plot when you really think when you really break it down. But it's damn good fun. That's why I give it a 10 out of 10, and there's really no reason to talk about the plot. It is because the plot is just absolute shit, and, uh... And, yeah. Compared to, like, so, yeah, the plot is... It's really not important, because the point is this movie is fun. <laughs> And that's why it gets a 10 out of 10. Goodbye. Subscribe. Like this video. Please.